yet another example of a college trying to ruin an honest business and being uh, being held accountable. We're seeing more of these since the Gibson Bakery ruling, and I hope we see even more. The university coffee shop owner gets staggering free speech settlement after Thin Blue Line sticker led to campus firestorm. Great, justice has been served. A college in Idaho owes a local coffee shop owner $4 million after a jury agreed she lost her contract following a conflict over her public support of law enforcement. Yeah, at this point, I I think um, anyone who's openly anti-law enforcement, the cops should just put on a list that if we ever get a call from these people, just don't show up. Because I I remember during the the summer of love when various burn loot murder factions started shooting at each other and immediately all all the defund the police types were like, someone call the cops! Uh Uh-huh. Now, Sarah Fendley was awarded $3 million for lost business, reputational damage, and mental and emotional distress and personal humiliation on September 13th, and another $1 million in punitive damages from, from a specific school staffer. Oh, damn! They actually made a specific activist pony up money? Yeah, that's what we need to see more of. Yeah, don't let these activists hide behind the college as a separate legal entity. Make them personally liable for all the hateful shit they do. Damn, they, they, they will change really quick if we started doing that. So the money will come from Boise State University after a jury discerned the school trampled on the big city coffee owner's First Amendment rights. She had originally sued for $10 million after a thin blue line sticker she posted outside the on-campus location fueled backlash from the student body. This lawyer said that came during riots organized in response to the overdose of George Kirby. Uh, forced to close within a year, Fendley later claimed the school terminated her contract because of her support for police and assertion the jurors agreed with. Man, we still, got, we still actually got intelligent juries out there? Now that is rare. Man, I think unicorns are less rare than intelligent juries because usually they try to pad the juries with people who are as dumb as possible. I have gratitude to the jury of 12 peers that unanimously came back with the verdict in my favor. Friendly, who cried as the verdict was read, told KTVB in a statement, I'm grateful they committed three weeks of their lives to hearing my case. Yeah, that is that is good. If you're ever in trial, remember that. If you're ever on the jury... You should probably expect some uh, some appreciation as well. Uh, it's been almost four years since I was removed from Boise State campus, and my attorney, Mike Rowe, said, uh, said it best in closing arguments to the jury. This case is not about liberal versus conservative, black versus white, gay versus straight. It's not even about anti-police versus pro-police, she continued. It's about highly indoctrinated, highly compensated government officials running Idaho's largest university, grossly mistreating a small business whammies because they didn't care about her. And uh, doing so was easier than doing the right thing. Yep, like the exploding Ford Pintos. Once it came out that Ford knew about the risk, but determined it was cheaper to just pay pay the uh, said the lawsuits than fix it. Oh, they got hammered so hard that they never do that again. Yeah, remember when our justice system used to work? I mean, I, I, I even back then, I guess it wasn't all that common, but it worked. I mean, it worked one percent of the time, which is better than the 0.5 percent of the time we got now. Now, in that mistreatment, she said they violated my First Amendment rights to free speech and free expression. In a statement also sent to KTVB, uh, Keeley Duke, an attorney representing the school, said we respectfully but strongly disagree with today's verdict and plan to appeal. We are honoring the First Amendment rights of all involved. Oh, see? So as per usual with these colleges, they, they, they just have to waste even more time and money with the appeal. Whatever the college the Gibsons were, uh, were fucked over by. Yeah, they tried to appeal as well, but their appeal actually failed and they had to pay. Although they they actually got some nice karma for that. Because while they were dragging it out, because they, they were tr- So the, the, the two Gibson men who initially were in, in the lawsuit, they both died. And so, so the college was trying to drag it out until they run out of money and will to continue it. And But the, the, the karma is... As they were dragging the case out, their bill was getting bigger and bigger. They had to pay interest on all the unpaid money for during the time they were appealing. So they only ended up fucking themselves over. Not only did they have to pay their legal team extra to keep pursuing the case and the appeals, but they also ended up owing even more money to the Gibsons. That's a good way to discourage this type of behavior.
No, it's Oberlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 Evergreen is one of the main colleges. I like to 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 point out how dumb they are. So I I, I keep having them in my head. Uh, Duke, meanwhile, also represented two uh, BSU administrators, ex vice president for student affairs and enrollment manager Leslie Webb, and chief financial and operating officer and vice president of finance and operations Alicia St. Yeah, activists that are about to get owned. The latter took the stand Friday as the last witness after hastily calling a meeting with uh, Fenley back in current year minus four to warn her about social media firestorm and her post had created the business owner suit. Uh, Etsy, uh, who secretly recorded much of the meeting and hours before it started, she and other administrators uh, have been drafting a press release about the business leaving campus. Thus, he argued, made it clear she and Webb had a single outcome in mind, uh, caving the, uh, into the demands of outraged student activists. I doubt they were just caving. I, th I think they were in on on uh, perpetuating that mindset. Estia uh, on Friday shot back. We didn't retaliate against her at all. Yeah, it, it, they they never see it that way. Whenever they do something bad, they were always justified in doing it in their own minds. They don't see it as anything that they, they them doing anything wrong, which is why it it makes it so much more beautiful when they get screwed over. Now, she made a choice to leave, which is her choice to make. She continued, there was no retaliation. Big City Campus's shop uh, would go on to close four days after the meeting, after student activists chided Fenley and her, and her store online. Uh, I hope y'all uh, don't go there if you truly support your BIPOC peers and other student staff. In fact, he wants to post in Snapchat at the time. He's the acronym that refers to uh, Black, Indigenous, and, and, and POX. Uh, Fendi, who had been engaged uh, to uh, who have been engaged to a former Boise uh, police officer who had been... Uh, or who had been paralyzed in a gunfight at the time, responded to it with her own public Facebook and Instagram posts, which she doubled down on her support for the police. Yeah, the, the police should pull all uh, all coverage of that school. So shortly after, her contact with the school was terminated, spurring her to file the now-resolved lawsuit. Yeah, so how could they claim she chose to leave, she left voluntarily, if the college was the one that terminated the contract? Like, that hardly counts as leaving voluntarily. The jurors awarded her an additional $1 million in punitive damages from Webb, who argued it was uh, her job to hear students out as the teacher's former vice president of student affairs. She now works as administrator at the University of Montana. Yeah, it was just like that 1304 at Oberlin who created most of this problem. She ended up just, uh, no, just leaving and going to a completely different college and didn't have to pay shit. As of the writing, it remains unclear if the university, insurance, or web, and uh, ST themselves in their personal capacity will pay the damages. So, so ideally, if this works out like Oberlin did, their interest on the $4 million is going to keep accruing. So in a year or two, when, when the appeal gets denied, they're going to owe an extra million. We, we can hope anyway.